If you want to do it yourself, you can. There's nothing out there that says that you can't do it yourself. It's not easy. If you really want to, you can sell your house without using a real estate agent. I said it. I did. If you're gonna sell your house by yourself without using an agent, the first thing that you need to do is master the art of pricing your property. So pricing is key. Pricing is not easy. Sometimes everybody thinks that a realtor just walks in and they just slap a price tag on there. That's not how it's done. It takes homework. You gotta dive into the numbers. You have to look at the area. You have to look at like properties. You have to compare and contrast condition and square footage and things like that. Year the home was built, the amenities that yours has versus the other houses. There's a lot that goes into it. But what I say you do is you look at the like properties that have sold in the last six months. The next thing you need to do is prepare your home for sale. When preparing your home for sale, the first thing I tell people to do is walk around and look at all the deferred maintenance. So anything that has broken or needs to be fixed or replaced, that you just in your day-to-day -day life, you just don't even realize it or notice it anymore. It just, you walk right past it, broken handles on, you know, pulls for cabinets or drawers in the kitchen, stuff like that. They just kind of blend in with day-to-day -day life. Make sure you take care of those things because when potential buyers walk in, if the house looks like it hasn't been taken care of, they're going to offer prices that represent what they see. As you're going around and you're looking at different things in the house, you have to ask yourself, is this a DIY job or do I need to hire a pro? Things like structure, plumbing, electrical. I always say go hire a pro. Don't get zapped. Don't break something. Don't flood something because you watch two videos on YouTube and you think that you're ready to rock and roll. I get it, if you're handy and you like to do home projects, that's great. This one you don't wanna jack up. Staging your home, so making sure that it appeals to the masses. Try to make your home feel like a hotel in every room and you're off to a good start. There's also virtual staging options out there as well, so if you just get everything out of the house, you want all your belongings out of there and you wanna just stage the house you can do that as well or you can utilize your own stuff and do your own staging um, you can watch there's plenty of youtube videos out there and websites and apps like the house app things like that that can give you some ideas on how to stage your property as well do it however you want marketing your property now i say the most important marketing piece that you can do is professional photos because you can slap those bad boys on just about everything out there. Whether they are flyers, you're posting stuff on your social media accounts, uh, if you wanna take it large scale and do TV commercials, you can do a lot with your professional photos. Professional photos ain't cheap. Once we have all this marketing material out there, your phone's gonna start ringing and people are gonna be calling and you have to deal with that. You wanna sell your house by yourself, you have to be the one to field the phone calls and deal with the agents, deal with the people who are calling without agents. You're gonna to to, to have to field all that stuff and do it all on your own. People are gonna call you looking for showings. Agents are gonna be calling asking info on the property. You're gonna get buyers directly calling you saying, hey, can I see it? Or I would like to make an offer. You're gonna to have to navigate all that on your own, including iBuyers. So if they are a part of an iBuyer program and they wanna buy your house sight unseen, you know, you, you're gonna to have to navigate that process as well. You're gonna to have to deal with the buyer's agent, title company, real estate attorneys, the buyer's lender, appraisers. There's a lot of things that need to, that need to take place. And yes, I said attorneys. So you're going to want to hire an attorney. Yes, you can buy documents online and all that other stuff, but to make sure that you have the most updated stuff and you are protected, I would say hire an attorney. They'll help you with that. They'll help you with legal advice. They'll help you with the documents that you're gonna need. They can also be a great referral source for title and escrow companies and things like that. They can help you review offers and they're just there if you have questions. 
So hire a daggum attorney. And with that being said, that is the basic overview of what it's going to take for you to be a for sale by owner or sell your house without using a real estate agent. I'm not saying I like it, but it can be done.